This is Charlie Kale with Travel Mall TV in Madrid at the WTTC Summit with Luis Maroto, who's the president and CEO of Amadeus. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, first, I'd like to trouble you to, to just explain to our audience what are the core components of Amadeus today? Well, we are a technology company within travel, uh, and uh, we cover a whole spectrum of providers. So mainly we have uh, a distribution business, which was the EDS uh, that has existed for now 25 years in Amadeus. And then we enter into uh, IT solutions for different providers. Uh, mainly at the beginning was airlines, and now we have expanded our offer to hotels, uh, railways, um, airports. And we are also working with some transversal business, such as payment, uh, business intelligence uh, and mobile, which is part of the whole uh, business evolution. That's all, huh? So we try uh, to cover the whole spectrum of travel yeah, and provide technology solutions. Uh, tell me a little bit about your global merchandising system and uh, uh, that that's fairly new for yeah. the days. I mean, well, merchandising is not completely new because we have been providing uh, capability to merchandise uh, mainly through ancillary services uh, for families. So this is something that has been moving uh, already for many years in the airline industry. However, we have considered to really put together uh, our vision for the future uh, and therefore we are developing some additional components that uh, uh, to really support uh, a better merchandising of products by, uh, by the travel industry. So we are, uh, as we speak, we are working with, uh, with carriers around the world uh, and with customers to develop uh, specific areas. We have just announced uh, what we did for United Airlines in, uh, in a specific uh, sitting area. So it's a way to really differentiate the offer and to really optimize the capability of the travel providers to merchandise their products. And the potential for us is huge because the whole industry is moving into that space. More personalization, uh, more capabilities to, to uh, amend the offers and, and to present the, uh, the offer in different ways. September of last year, 2014, Ryanair uh, joined uh, your, your Amadeus. Uh, how is that going? I mean, it, I don't know if that's uh, the first, probably your first major low-cost carrier. I'm curious, uh, is that generating a lot of bookings? For well, it's not the, the first major low-cost carriers. We have uh, around 80 low-cost carriers, including uh, uh, carriers such as EasyJet has been working with us, oh, uh, so uh, Ryanair, yes, has been important uh, uh, for us to really be able to convince them that the DDS and the travel agency channel is adding additional value to them. Uh, so the volumes have started, it's still early to say, but uh, what I can tell you is that the growth of low-cost carriers uh, on the travel agency space is, is, is very significant, uh, and therefore we are very pleased to really enlarge the content of our distribution capabilities. Uh, and, uh, and therefore, with that, increase the value we add to travel agencies and to the local carriers. Uh, over the last several years, Amadeus has been actively, actively involved with sustainability-type projects, mm -hmm. uh, Millennium Development Goals. You're one of the major supporters of uh, a project that, uh, that, that made it easy for people to donate mm -hmm. money for the reduction of poverty and such. More recently, you, you have a climate change initiative, a program. Um, I'm just wondering, what, what is in the uh, commitment or is in the DNA of Amadeus towards sustainability? Well, it is clear that, uh, I mean, even if you see in our core competences or our core strategic objectives, sustainability is one of them. So we, we consider that, of course, uh, we have to uh, be res a responsible company and work with the communities that, at the end, are the ones that uh, give uh, the, the reason for existence of the company. Of course, we need to work with our customers, we need to pay attention to our employees, our stakeholders, but also to the communities in which we are operating. That's why uh, we have a number of initiatives, uh, such as the ones that you mentioned before, uh, mm -hmm. and we will continue paying attention to that space. And I personally dedicate time to these initiatives. Yeah, I, I think a bit more than some of the other companies. So that's that's why I was curious about the DNA part. I mean, you, again, yeah, that's yeah. Uh, what we do and uh, what we pay attention. Of course, the others need to make their own minds. Amadeus Payments, you mentioned uh, earlier about payments. Mm -hmm. Uh, is one of your uh, divisions, I guess you call it, and you also have partnerships with uh, WorldPay, Avalon, and such. Um, 
what, what do you see about uh, the world of payments in the travel space, B2B travel space, in the, in the coming years? Well, I mean, in payments, there are, there are a, lot of, uh, a lot of evolution worldwide. Uh, it is not just in our travel uh, industry. Uh, however, in travel, again, uh, there are opportunities to optimize the travel, the, the, the payment flows. I mean, if you imagine, uh, I mean, for uh, connecting between travel providers and uh, the amount of opportunities that you have in travel with all the uh, credit card companies, the banks, the, 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 the PSP providers, uh, we believe there, are, there is an opportunity to really try to optimize this, uh, this money flow. Uh, and this is why we have decided to leave the rest of that space. So there are opportunities of improvement in the travel process uh, of our industry, definitely, yes. Yes, I just uh, booked my wife's uh, Air France extra baggage last night to Paris for the summer, and up comes Amadeus Payments. <laughs> of course. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Luis uh, Maroto, President and CEO of Amadeus. Thanks to you.